All right. In this lesson, um, we're going to do one of my favorite things, is we're going to um, find the sums, or actually um, make rational numbers from repeating decimals. All right, Defeat repeating decimals. Now, what you see a lot is um, a repeating decimal. Um, if you had like 1.7, um, and it would go 1.7, then... Um, one seven, one seven, one seven, one seven, one seven, and so on and so forth. And we keep on going through um, this uh, area where you keep on adding these values together. Okay. And what you have is like a repeating decimal of diff some different amounts. Okay. Um, another one would be like if you had uh, a simple one would be like 0.5, right? 0.5 repeating, and we keep on going through now. In order to do this, if you don't realize this, is that repeating decimal actually can be made into a geometric series. Because what we have here is 0.5 is the same thing as 0.5, or 0.5 repeating is the same thing as 0.5 plus 0.05 plus 0.005 plus 0 0.0005, and we keep on going forever. And so actually it is a infinite series. Now, what type of infinite series is it? Well, it actually is one of the basic ones um, that many have talked about, that we've talked about in my previous lessons. Um, if you look at this, we are changing this, and it appears that we have a common ratio. And this common ratio is we are multiplying everything by um, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, or 1 tenth. If I multiply this by point, um, 0.1, or 1 tenth, I would get 0 0.05. If I multiply this other one by 0.1, or 1 tenth, I get 0 0.001, or 0 0.005, and so on and so forth. And since I'm multiplying everything by a repeated value, we understand that that is exponential, which makes it geometric. So actually, every repeating decimal is a geometric infinite series. All right, it can be written as a geometric infinite series. So that means, can I find the sum of this? You bet I can. Because I can write this repeating decimal, 0.5 repeating, as n equaling 1, going to infinity. My initial term, which is 0.5, I can have 1 tenth to the n minus 1 power, and there is my series. Well, if you recall, we can actually find the sum of this series by using one of our sum formulas. And if we take the limit as it goes to infinity, we can go and say, okay, um, take this, and we have our first term, which in this case is 0.5. We have 1 minus our ratio, which is 1 tenth, the n, over 1 minus 1 tenth. Well, we realize that for infinite series, these converge only if we have a geometric check, and if our ratio is less than 1 greater than 0. Well, if it's a repeating decimal, we see that 1 tenth is definitely less than 1 greater than 0, so this will converge. So with that, we're going to solve this, 0.5, and we have 1 minus, well, this is going to go to zero, because as n goes to infinity, that becomes a smaller and smaller value. All right, just like in every other case. We have one minus one tenth, which turns to be nine tenths. All right, and now we can simplify this. Over here, we have 0.5 times, it would be 10 over nine, and well, that's going to equal five ninths. So five ninths, if you put it in a calculator, is 0.5 repeating, 0.5 repeating. Cool, huh? Well, another interesting one that I like to do, all right, is where we have 0.9 repeating. All right, 0.9 repeating. Now, 0.9 repeating, um, if you write this as be 0.9, and you have plus 0.09, plus 0.009, plus 0.0009, plus that, 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 that goes on infinity. Now, probably a lot of two other tutorials online about this, so, but I just want to be like one of the boys. So I want to figure this out. Um, what is 0.9 repeating going to equal? Well, once again, hopefully you realize it's very similar to 0.5 we did above. And it's going to be a geometric series. And it's going to be infinite. Um, we're going here to infinity. We can write it as 0.9. We realize that our ratio is 1 tenth again. We take to the n minus 1 power. And we have this. So now from here, what we can do is we can solve this. I'm going to pause this for one second. Okay, so we want to find this series. And by doing this, well, we're going to go through the same process. So we want to find the limit as n goes to infinity. 
and we're going to take this and we're going to have all right our equation so we're going to use our geometric sum formula which is our first term and our first term in this case would be 0.9 we have 1 minus our ratio which is 1 tenth to the nth over 1 minus 1 tenth we have this right here okay so from here we're going to simplify this and what you realize is that okay once again because n goes to infinity this is going to go to zero because it gets really really small and minus zero this is going to turn into 9 tenths all right times 0.9 and what we then have is 0 0.9 times 10 over 9. And that's going to give us 9 over 9, which happens to be equal 1. So what we have it then is, all right, 0 0.9 actually converges to 1, which I think a lot of students get really surprised at, but that's what we have. All right, so two cool ways, all right, of finding repeating decimals and understanding that they are geometric infinite geometric series. Hope this helps you out and solving more geometric series problems.